For we, talk about a high privilege, we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To one, a fragrance from death to death. To other, a fragrance from life to life. Some get a whiff of the people of God, and it's to them a stench in their nostrils. And they are on their way to death. Others get a whiff of the people of God, the aroma of Christ to God in the people of God, and they smell life. And for them, it will result in their life. But you're privileged to be used whichever response you meet with. Because the Lord has rescued your life and is now making use of your life to spread the knowledge of Himself throughout the earth. In fact, the passage ends by saying, who is sufficient for these things? You want to talk about a privilege. Who is, who is sufficient for this? Luke six twenty two. our Lord said this, blessed are you when people hate you. Can we just stop and acknowledge we struggle to believe that? You are blessed when people hate you. And when they exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil, I mean, just can we be honest with ourselves? You meet with someone who hates you, who excludes you, who reviles you, who spurns your name. I mean, the very mention of your name, they treat like A curse word. They treat you like you're evil. Key words here, on account of the Son of Man. They hate you because of Jesus. They exclude you because of Jesus. They revile you because of Jesus. They spurn your name as evil because of Jesus. You're blessed when that happens, he says. Jesus is saying this. goes on to say, rejoice in that day and leap. For joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For so their fathers did to the prophets. So their fathers did to the prophets. See, the real struggle we have, dear ones, is we, as much as we know better intellectually, we treat this world as though it is eternal, and we treat what is coming as though it's not coming and in that way, we don't rejoice in these things because all we have is now, and now is be being made pretty miserable. But if we could just see that what we have is not contained to now, and what is coming is far more lasting, eternally lasting, and it's full of the reward <laughs> amazingly given to us because of God's grace, and that is the true knowledge of it. In his son, there, this reward is found, and it's real. And if we believe that, then present momentary, <clears throat> momentary suffering is not worthy to be compared to the glory that will be revealed one day. 